Okay, week five evaporator cover. Uh, this is in inches, so make sure you put it in inches. Let me describe this. We have a plate, a disc here at the very bottom. I call this the birthday cake after an earthquake. So we have the cake up top that has split. Uh, the candles have fallen off, okay, and there's some holes in it. Okay, whenever we have a model, we consider it a homogeneous solid, which means it is just one piece, okay, like a forged casting. This one, we're going to assume that those holes go all the way through. Uh, we have the candlestick sitting on the plate out here. There are four of them. It says 4x, diameter 0.28 pointing to that so that's a diameter 0.28 inches diameter uh, there's four of them one two three four four times 90 degrees which means there's 90 degrees apart from one another from the center of the plate and diameter 4.60 base circle so this center line that you see going through them that has a diameter of 4.6 inches we also have six holes here uh, the description says six of them at a diameter 0.59 each. They're 60 degrees apart. The first one is at the 3 o'clock location. If 12 o'clock is straight up here, this is the 12 o'clock location. Okay. So at 3 o'clock, we have one of the holes, and then they're 60 degrees apart. The candlestick here, the first one is at 32 degrees off from 3 o'clock, or uh, 90, 122 degrees from from top dead center, and then they're 90 degrees apart. Now we have one dimension as shown in your homework document, where it says 0.28 diameter, and it points to this bolt hole circle. That does not make sense. Okay, a 0.28. What that diameter actually is is 2.52 base circle. Uh, that's just just ignore that dimension. Doesn't make any sense. The cake has been cut in half or split. Okay, the centers of the two are each a quarter inch. The left one is a quarter inch higher on the plate, and the right one is a quarter inch lower. The center is there. They both have a radius of two. Okay. The hardest part is this part here. part is this part on both sides. Imagine if you were looking straight down on this. Looking straight down the outside edge is curved. It's the same curve. It's tangent. I know it looks like it's a little straight there and it may be but I'm telling you I want it curved and there's a reason behind this. Also the top says 2x radius 2.83 inches it's it's curved on the top outwardly curved no concaved is this way convexed is upward so it's convexed curve so the tops are curved and the outsides are curved and the reason that I want them this way the outside curve too is because there's no way to create that feature with just one extrude or one revolve okay with those two curved surfaces it's going to take you at least two moves if you do it right you can do it in two moves two commands but you can't do it in one so there's lots of ways to start there are not lots of ways to end it's kind of like you have to this is like playing chess okay you got to think of what's your first move your first move is always pick a plane there's uh, two vertical planes or a horizontal plane you can pick to create this part you pick one of those planes you say to yourself what do I sketch on that plane what shape and then after I extrude that because the first has to be an extrusion or a revolve um, from that plane then what do I do to finish the the feature there are lots of ways to start uh, which means there are lots of solutions you know three four different ways to solve it there's lots of ways to start and paint yourself in the corner which means you can't solve it that way okay so you have to think like chess move you know two steps ahead at least I'm not going to give you the solution for that I'm telling you what it has to look like curved on the top upward on the top curved sideways curved on the outside okay you have to create those features 
I'll do the rest of it, but that's uh, something you have to solve yourself. There's more than one solution, so if you get stuck, try a different sketch on a different plane to begin with. Okay, And let's begin. So I'm in inches. Make sure you're in inches. We're going to do extrude uh, on a horizontal surface. And the first thing I'm going to do is create the cake plate. So starting, make sure you're at zero, zero. And this is a diameter of 5.03. Boom. 0.13 inches deep. Don't forget to hit OK or you will delete it like I did the first time. Now we're going to do the cake plate or the cake extrude on I'm going to do it right from this surface and I'm going to do I find it easier just to draw the circle 2 inch radius which means 4 inch circle and put a line from quadrant snap top dead center to there oops I don't think it went top dead center to bottom dead center and then trim that off. Now I can move it over, put a dimension from, oops, I'm still on trim. Get out of the trim command. From dimension from here to here, zero. This one is higher than the right side. So dimension from arc center, there's the arc center. So from arc center, to this line, this would be 0.25 inches. 0.25. Okay, do the same thing for the other side. Four inch diameter. Move that thing. Gotta be, be careful where you snap. There we go and then trim off this side and then this time I'm going to move it vertically first so from here to here 0.25 and then from here escape out of there from here to here 0 Now when I trim these lines out in the inside here, I might end up getting rid of my dimensions. Did I get rid of that line too? I got one line at the bottom. I'm missing a... something went wrong there. This is supposed to be 0.25. There we go. Trim off this. Sometimes it's kind of hard to see those. Trim off that. Well, I've got to add a line back on here. Okay. Look for it to shade in. Okay. When it's connected, it shades in. And is it fully, yes, fully defined. So finish that. And it is, they give you the height with the plate included of 0.62. So I'm going to say from, I was on top of the plate. So I'm going to go 0.62 minus 0.13 to get just the height of the cake. And don't forget to unite your features as you go along. Okay, there we go. Holes. I want to go at the... I want to do extrude on this plane here. I want my, my coordinate system or my vectors in the center. Okay, it's easier to dimension to. So I pick the bottom plate again. Okay, so we're going to go from the center. And that is a diameter of 1.10. And finish. 
and extrude upward just to make sure I go it all the way through down to the bottom and subtract and let's do that again at the three o'clock location and point five nine right point five nine diameter now that should be already constrained to that line let's find out yep so all we have to do is dimension it from the arc center to this line and that overall let's see that diameter of that center point is 2.52 so 2.52 divided by 2 is the radius and finish it and extrude it through subtract it say okay pattern pattern of this last part sometimes it's hard to grab it there we go zoom in grab it we don't want a linear we want a cylindrical linear will do columns and rows if you want like a screen you know we got holes columns and rows that works okay my vector is down the middle I want six of them at 60 degrees or 360 divided by six it should give you a pattern that if it looks right these blocks and then you say okay extrude on I'm going to use that base plate every time okay so we have somewhere over about about here we have the candlestick which is 0.28 diameter and how do I get an angle how do I get an angle between there and there and that is if you right click let's see right click yes right click on a sketch see that line right there this is convert to reference there's a, a shortcut to the converting a line to a reference and back so I'm gonna draw a line from center the center of this circle and then I'm going to right click and say convert to reference there we go that was nice now I can do an angle between from here to here and that was 32 degrees and the distance of this reference line is the radius of that circle which is 4.6 divided by 2 the diameter 4.6 divided by 2 finish it should not be touching the cake and that is not a subtract that is a none no that is a unite and we are starting from let's see if we start from zero that's the bottom of the plate they give you the height of 0.73 so we want to go from zero for at zero or we can go from point we're always measuring from the sketch which is on the bottom so we're going to go from zero to 0.73 plus 0.13 the cake the, the plate thickness and unite there we go that looks right and then a pattern this time a pattern of four about the vector and 90 degrees apart function F8 that's what it should look like from the top this is the best front view and I'm going to now finish it without showing you how I'm going to finish it
because it's time you do something all for yourself. I'm just going to edit out this I've next section. I've got this section. feature created. I'm going to now do a pattern of two. No use doing it twice. So 180 degrees. My vector is the vector is the center of the plate, not the center of a cake half. And you have to pick both of them, the feature. So both the revolve, both that and the, I did it with a revolve and extrude. There's different ways to do it with revolve and extrude. And there it is. So that's what it looks like when it's done. Curved on top, curved on outside. And let me save that. And the next video will be how I want the homework to be done for this week.